Good morning everyone, this is the intro to Shark Week Part 3. It's a beautiful fresh morning here, Tuesday morning here in Brisbane, Australia, and I'm the commander on your corner, Tim Thomas. Now, I made this video series a little while ago, and news just in, less than 24 hours ago, I had a bull shark charging at me. It had its pectoral fins down and it meant business. Now, question for you, have you ever discovered something, like some sort of knowledge that you know it works, but you've got no scientific data to, to back it up? Now, I've been diving with sharks for 25 years, and in the instant I was just talking about, about the bull shark charging in, I was 26 meters underwater, I wasn't on scuba, it was just a single breath hold, and all I had was my knowledge of how sharks works, because sharks have rules. And one of the rules is, I just shot a fish, and the shark, and I was pulling the fish to me, and that shark was charging in on that fish, and I, I knew that that shark is thinking, that fish is anyone's until it's claimed. Now, I pulled that fish into my chest. The second that happened, the shark turned away and said, right, the fish is claimed, no point trying anymore. Now, I know that to be a rule. Do I have scientific data to back it up? Absolutely not. Can I recommend it to others? Absolutely not but I know it's something that works. Now, this Shark Week series is drawn on my personal experience, but I want it to be as fun, entertaining, and enjoyable as it possibly can be. I want you to have a cracking day and enjoy part Shark Week, part three. This is video three in Shark Week series of videos. Today is about fun facts and how that fun fact helped me have a positive interaction with the largest shark I've encountered. All right, let's take the safety off and get into it. I'm the commander in your corner, Tim Thomas, and largest shark I ever swam with is a 16-foot tiger shark off of Brisbane. Fun fact about sharks is they have a sense in their snouts called Anphilae of Lorenzini. It's like a really sensitive metal detector for electrical impulses. They can sense your state of arousal. They can see through you. So if you're stressed, they see that. If you're confident and aggressive, they see that too. So. This shark has swimming up to me. I just shot a fish, so he's coming to check it out. He was pushing on my social bubble. He was circling closer and closer. And I thought, well, I've got to push on his social bubble because if this guy disappears and then reappears in an angle I don't expect, I might get a shock. And then he might think, oh, that's food and chomp. So I thought I, I'm better off being close to this animal. So I swim out to it and I sort of stay in his shoulder and I start nudging him into wider and wider circles. Now, I had to be aware of my own energy state because he would have sensed that. So I was swearing through my snorkel to try and keep fear away from me and to keep the aggression up. So he would sense that if he was to go me, there would be a chance he would get injured. I just wanted to put a doubt in his head. Now, I was in the water for three or four minutes, felt like half an hour, but there were times of absolute beauty. This thing was that big, it had the sun rippling across its back. I saw the, the, the fin raising above the waterline and quietly slipping underneath. It was, it was almost spiritual in its, in its context. That's all we've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's more to come. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Have a cracking day. Now, before you go, I just wanted to show you that fish that the shark was actually trying to grab off me. You know that bull shark that was charging in? Have a look at this. This is a Queensland tusk fish. It is as beautiful as it is tasty. Have a look at that iridescent blue tail and that detailed work around the mouth. I'm the commander in your corner, Tim Thomas, and I believe that despite everything, good people are everywhere, and a little bit of encouragement goes a long way. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit notifications, because Shark Week Part 4 is coming very soon. Have a cracking great day.